Well, my name is Pablo Ribayes. It's a, a pleasure to be here. Uh, and I want to thank uh, the people who organized, were organizing this and NYU, which are an amazing team. Um, in my lab, what we do is we study the uh, cognitive neuroscience of music, that is how uh, the brain processes music. And one of the things that we focus on a lot is in this thing called abstract reward. Reward is one of the most important uh, cognitive features uh, in human and non-human animals. And there is a very interesting thing that can only be studied in humans, uh, and that is that we are able to feel pleasure out of ab abstract stimuli, for example, music. Why is it important to understand the abstract reward? Well, because the reward system plays a crucial role in several uh, illnesses, for example, uh, like addiction and depression. And if we want to understand uh, those illnesses in a perfect way, we need to understand how the brain reacts not only to primary rewards like food, and this is a thing that you can study both in humans and in non-human animals, but also you have to understand how the brain processes after rewards. And we use music for that. Well, when we study music reward after reward in the lab, we have different ways to do this. For example, we can put people inside of an MRI scanner and we can look at their pattern of brain activity when they are experiencing a peak moment of pleasure. Okay. And we are very good at that. There are other ways in which we can study a physiological objective uh, reactions to, to music, to pleasurable music. For example, we can use skin conductance. Skin conductance is a physiological measure that is related to uh, emotional arousal, and it's based on the measuring the resistance to electricity of our skin. And when we get emotional, uh, that uh, conductance changes. Another thing that we can do is to measure heart rate. Uh, there are studies that show that when we get emotional, uh, the heart rate also changes. What happens with these measures? These measures are wonderful if you test things in a controlled environment, in a lab in which you ask people not to move, okay? But actually, if you want to test this in real life settings, you have a problem. First of all, you can we don't have portable MRIs that can measure brain activity uh, outdoors while people move. Skin conductance measures uh, get really artifacted when people move, and heart rate is not a very sensitive measure. So we have a problem here because we are trying to study abstract reward from music, but we're always doing it in lab control uh, conditions, which are not comfortable and are not, are not natural. And the way we experience music in the real world is actually in a very different way. We move, we clap, we jump, we listen to music while we run. And uh, then we said, okay, how do we measure, how do we get an objective measure of musical reward that can be used in real life scenarios, and that is not affected by movement. And then we said, hey, why don't we focus on one of the most reliable physiological responses to pleasurable music? And that goosebumps. Do you know uh, these chills, these shiver down the spines that many of us feel when we experience a big moment of pleasure? So actually there are studies that show that the appearance of goosebumps correlate with uh, the appearance of the, the increase of brain activity in key regions related to reward, in key brain regions related to reward and to the dopaminergic processing. So we said, okay, why don't we use a camera to record the appearance of goosebumps in the skin and we develop an algorithm to turn that into an objective signal. And when you have an idea, the first thing that you need to do is to check if somebody else has had that idea before. And we checked and actually in 2010, a group of German scientists developed uh, this kind of device that is able to track in real, to track the appearance of goosebumps and they call it the goose cam. Is this bulky thing here attached to this person's arms that is basically a webcam. So we thought that that was really cool, but that the problem with the goose cam is that it doesn't provide real time analysis of uh, the appearance of goosebumps, the appearance of musical emotion, and that is not portable. So we said, okay, let's develop our own wearable device. And we created the Chiller, a computer human interface for the live labeling of emotional responses. We put a lot of 
work in getting the correct name, the Chile because it measures musical chills, okay? And the Chile is actually an open source wearable device based on the Raspberry Pi architecture. The Raspberry Pi, I don't know if you are familiar with it, but is an architecture of mini computers. This thing here is a Raspberry Pi Zero. It only costs $10 and it has the computing capabilities of a first generation Xbox. So not bad for 10 bucks. Now, the tiller is able to measure in real time while people dance, while people move without being affected by movement, the appearance of musical emotion by tracking with a camera here, um, uh, whether goosebumps, the whether there are changes in the texture of the skin, okay? It also has an, an LED that lights up when goosebumps appear to provide real-time biofeedback. Okay, enough talking. Let me show you how this works. Here, this is my skin. I know this is a little bit gross. Now in the lab, we are very used to these zooms of, of skin textures. But here you're going to see what happens to my skin when I get emotional. And here you see in real time the output of our algorithm. Okay, so you will see that not only tracks the appearance of goosebumps, but the intensity of the goosebumps. Let me know if you can hear the music. Okay, so you see, I get emotional. The texture of the skin changes, an algorithm is able to track this in real time. Now, I've been telling you all the time that the reason why we developed this was to, uh, because we want to, to track music emotion after reward in real time and in real, in real life settings. So now I have the most important question of my talk to all of you, and that is, do you want to see me dancing? The correct answer is no, but I'm going to show you this anyway. This is a demo that we recorded. This is one of my friends pretending to be a DJ. He's not a DJ. I'm wearing the chiller on my left arm. And you're going to see in real time what he's doing in the laptop. My reaction to this song from a band from the place I was born in. You can see that even if I'm shamelessly dancing, the algorithm is, able, is still able to track and just push back. Brilla una luna, and the suena una orquesta, gloriosa herencia, Sierra Maestra, brilla y escribe, su historia revive, verdad y amor, sol del Caribe. Aquí tu casa es la mía, aquí es tan fácil soñar. Okay, enough of this. Actually, we developed the killer to track uh, musical emotion, but actually, it's able to track emotion from any kind of a stimuli. I'm a big nerd and I love Marvel movies. So here you will see my reaction to the ending of Avengers Endgame. Uh, spoilers ahead. I got the goosebumps now. Uh, we published a paper describing the prototype last year. You can find it online. And actually, you can download the guide. You can buy the parts online. And you can build it yourself in around six hours and for only $80. Right now, we are further evaluating the chiller. And we hope to be able to deploy it uh, in real life scenarios very soon uh, to keep studying after reward from music. And that's all I have to say today.